Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at a confidence interval for a Poisson process. Now, correctly, what we're using here is a sort of normal approximation of a Poisson process, which I'll explain shortly. So, it is assumed that claims in a certain type of policy arrive as a Poisson process with a claim rate lambda per year, okay? So, for a group of 150 independent policies, okay, the total number of claims during the last calendar year was 125. So this will give us our rate, essentially. Okay, Determine an approximate 95% confidence interval. So this is approximate here. This word approximate sort of tells us, indicates to us that we should use uh, a, an approximation using some sort of distribution, such as the normal distribution, which is the what you would do in nearly, in most cases anyway. 95% uh, confidence interval for the true annual underlying claim rate for such a policy. Okay, so essentially what we have here is a mean number of claims per policy. Okay, and we just worked that out. That's X bar there with a bar on top. And we worked out that out to be 123 divided by 150, which is approximately 82%, 0 0.82. So, well actually it is 0, it is 0 0.82. So using the normal approximation of the Poisson distribution, what we are going to do here is let, this is the important part about the Poisson distribution actually. So this is our estimate for the mean rate, the mean for lambda, okay. But the thing about the Poisson distribution is that lambda is also the term for the variance. So this is also the variance of the distribution uh, X bar, okay? That's a little bit of a, that's the thing you have to remember the Poisson process. The expected value of X is also equal to the variance of X and they're both equal to lambda. And our estimate for both the variance of X and the expected value of X, or the sample S, X bar, is essentially X bar, there it is, okay? So our point estimate here is X bar, our quantile is 1.96. Now, I'm just going to use that there. It's a 95% confidence interval for a large sample. The sample size there is 150. So, just 1.96. I won't go into any more detail other than that. So, if the variance of X is estimated by X bar, the standard error is calculated the same way as we would do in a other, a, a sort of a, one of the earlier, simpler confidence intervals. So X bar is our variance, and the standard deviation of that, or sorry, the standard error is essentially the square root of X bar divided by N, okay? Which has the same sort of format as it would have for a confidence interval for a mean, for one of the first type of confidence intervals you might meet, okay? So 0 0.82 plus or minus 1.96, times 0 0.82 divided by 150 there, okay? So when we work out the confidence, well, sorry, when we work out the standard error, it should work out to be 0 0.0739, okay? Multiply that by 1.96, and we would get 0 0.145, and that's it really. Essentially, add that to 0 0.82, plus or minus, the point estimate plus or minus the margin of uh, error, that's our margin of error there, 0 0.145, and we would get our estimated answer there to be 0 0.675 to 0 0.965. Okay, so that is, let's just bring that into shot there. So I think actually the key part of it here really was this part here, up here, just actually stating correctly what your standard error was based on your estimates. That's it, really. And just remembering the key components of the Poisson distribution. Variance of X equals expected value of X equals lambda. Okay, we'll leave it there.